your girl Nimotu. So welcome to my channel and today's video is Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Da, na, 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 da, na, na. Okay, so it is more of the African um bride the don'ts for african bride okay so they are these big two basic things that african brides are not supposed to do during their traditional marriage okay so basically these things are of significance and what it does is one there are so many myths are surrounding the first one and the second one well if you rush and do it because they say don't but if you do it well it is more of like to be more of a shame and embarrassment and a whole lot of negative stuff surrounding that so they say don't auntie says don't mommy says don't if they catch you so don't do this two basic things as an african bride so what are those things should i tell you <laughs> okay so in the african certain we have um the, the uh, friends of the brides and of the groom being in attendance the families of both groom and bride the friends the aunties like just name it okay so during this process the first thing that the bride isn't supposed to do okay isn't supposed to do is the is to eat the food cooked during the marital ceremony okay cooked for the guests the food cooked for the marital ceremony the bride isn't supposed to eat that well according to the elders they say when the bride eats the food cooked during her marital um process she will end up working with a shaky head so she'll be working like this so <laughs> Her head, her head will be shaking. <laughs> yeah, so this, this, uh, this is like the reason why they say brides shouldn't eat during their marital process. And there is also another reason, which is according to the elders, you might have an enemy somewhere an unknown enemy somewhere or someone who is basically hating on you like we have haters 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 all around okay so we have so many haters all around you might not know all of them okay so one of them might pop up during your marital ceremony with a <laughs> big smile turn around and drop something inside the food okay so to avoid the bride going go gaga or going go ha -ha, dying or any negative thing happening to the bride the elder says avoid the food okay so it is the responsibility of the bridesmaid to make sure the bride is fed okay the food is cooked by the bridesmaid while taking care of by the bridesmaid okay so the life of the bride is in the hands of the bridesmaid during that period okay so basically do not eat during your marital ceremony the elder says you might be working with a shaky head or you might end up encountering some disaster okay someone might end up poisoning the food and they don't want a dead bride okay before the even the marital ceremony is even done so do not eat do not eat during your marital ceremony so, huh? <laughs> 
we huh all right so let's go to our second don't okay so as a bride okay after everything is done and settled and you have been or you are being taken to your husband's home during the night do not never ever ever never ever never ever ever never show them the road to your husband's house okay <laughs> never don't like don't like this is like the biggest embarrassment like according to <laughs> according to the elders it shows that like it's proof not to be it proves that the man might have had a sexual relations with you and because what what how come you have how did you know that okay how did you know that who showed you that who showed you who showed you, who showed you that and what did you go there and do how come you knew that what were you doing there huh so they'll end up <laughs> Even if you innocently went there to maybe check up on him when maybe he was sick or something, maybe that's how you go to know the place. Or maybe you were passing by and you saw him and went, oh, so here this is where you stay. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, nice, 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 nice. nice. That's great, you know. They don't care, okay. They will conclude it's either you have had a sexual relation before marriage okay so that's the typical conclusion of the elders and that uh, poses as an embarrassment for you and your family and they'll see you not to be chased okay so to, <laughs> to prevent exposing yourself just shush, 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 shut up sit quietly and allow them take you there even if you have been there a trillion times do not show them okay if not even when they say ah we are even lost we don't even know the way don't ah, don't even cough let them find their way to the place <laughs> all right so do not show them the way because traditionally in africa when they are being sent to your husband's home they normally the elders go with you roughly about four three or five elders go with you they take you there to your husband's home so during that period some might even know maybe the driver knows the place but who knows they will still want to test and see if you really do know the place should in case they ask tell them you don't know okay? that will be the best and safe way to save yourself from that embarrassment and shaming your family so in an african set in africa here this this matters a lot to your personality to you your husband and your family okay so they, they, they you might not know which auntie you are going with some aunties do have bella bella mouth they'll just go around scattering your name in the hey when we're taking Nemo to the way she was directing us to the place, that will be like a very, very bad name for you. And people will kind of spread it all around, okay? All around. The last point, which is really, really not solid, it's not all that solid, but it's sometimes you see them do, okay? You see the elders tell you to not do, okay? So this last point is all about talking loudly or talking too much during the marital process, okay? So when they are preparing you for the traditional marriage, for the marriage process, do not talk too much like a normal day. Just make sure you reduce your talking and just talk less because I've seen aunties shouting certain people up to not talk too much she stop talking that much she stop doing talking she stop talking she's like i've seen so many of it but like it, it is not commonly done okay but some people do it in africa here so talk less concentrate and pray more pray more during the process because anything can happen god forbid okay so yes this are basically it thank you so much for watching this video it is still your girl Nimotsu. i do appreciate you and welcome to my new subscribers okay guys it is slow the growth is really really slow 
but for sure okay it's really slow but sure so we are still growing the numbers gradually we are growing so i do appreciate you so please if you are new subscribe to my channel if you are an existing subscriber you are here you know how i feel about you i love you so much okay thank you so you are not just a, a subscriber for me you are a beautiful soul for me you are my friend okay i do appreciate you and your support okay